Okay, this is what we're going to call the monad. It's a funny word, monad. Uh, it's used in spiritual talk these days. Okay, I don't exactly understand monad, but I'm going to go with my current understanding, which might be totally wrong, but, you know, given the fact that I just don't understand this thing, and I'm going to try. So in the monad, let's say there are eight people, and this is represented by the eight squares here. You see an A, B, a C, D, E, etc. And in the monad, the people in the monad can either be asleep or awake. Now, if people are asleep, then their consciousness goes down to Earth. So they go from monad down to Earth, and this is where their consciousness is residing. The consciousness is residing, A is asleep in the monad, so A is down here. His consciousness is here, and B is asleep here, so his consciousness is in this person. These people interact on Earth plane. This is Earth plane. These people interact. They may be friends. They may be lovers. They may be enemies. Here on Earth plane. On monad plane, um, they're asleep. And as you can see, they're very tightly packed together in one place. So what happens if... Um, um, these people wake up in the monad. Their consciousness, instead of being down here, resident in these human bodies, it wakes up in this other place called the monad. So you're not experiencing being these people. You're experiencing being in the monad. What is the monad? For me, it's a bunch of, it's a control room at NASA for a space launch. So what happens is, when people wake up and they're in the monad, then um, they realize that they're closely packed together. And now, the people down here, what have they been doing? What if they were at war? Well, all of a sudden, the consciousness of these two people at war are like side by side. And they're not like they're sitting in one of those control rooms. And there's one person A and one person B who were using electronic means to, you know, be down here in these people. But now they're here and they look at each other and they realize that they've been killing one another and experiencing a horrible, horrible, horrible pain and agony of taking, you know, like World of Warcraft, like melee hits and things. And then they wake up here and they see that actually they've been projecting electronically down into this Earth plane. And actually, the person that they're at war with and who has been working on killing them and just torturing them, that's A and B. And they're right next to one another in the monad. And now, do they wake up and realize that, wait, we were going to play a game going down here into these bodies? And uh, I don't know, something went horribly wrong, and now we're the worst of enemies, even though when we started up here, we were like basically um, closer than. Um, closer than twins, closer to basically twins that haven't separated, you know, it's like you're one thing and then the twins separated into two fertilized eggs, two identical fertilized, yeah, before that happens, A and B and these other ones, they're all one thing. Really, it's like the right hand and the left hand of the same person. This is one person. So this one person is like got pieces of one person that are at war with one another, literally. And in this place, it's like A and B feels like dead because they're murdering one another down here. So it just seems because they say the monad is like, you know, you're more oneness here. You know, we try to get this idea, the religion's going to tell us that you're all one thing, but when you're woke in the monad, you realize that you are. And that person, that's a different person down here, is like, your right hand and your left hand are both got knives, and you've been carving, uh, you know, your right hand has been carving your left hand up. Because, and what if it's like, this person, A, has been down here trying to wake you up, B, down here in the body, and this is Bobby Burroughs here. Person A, 
is Bobby Burroughs trying to bring to your attention terrorists who are terrorizing me by electronic harassment or people like my mom and dad that I am being attacked horribly, horribly, and people who again and again and again are just evil to me down here because it's earth plane and we appear to be in separate bodies. But this is the truth, and it's me telling all of you people that this is really the truth. This is what we are. We're one being. All the spiritual teachers tell you. So down here, well, what happens when you finally wake up here, and you're like, you're right attached to me, like Siamese twins. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, now you're here. Can you see now that we are one thing? And that you are insane down here? Completely insane, trying to kill me and torture me? And I'm you here in the monad. I am you. I am your Siamese twin. Connected at the head and the whole body. I am you. But you have an ego down here, which is your sense of being a separate person. And this separate person is an insane devil. So, I mean, I need you to wake up here and, and realize this. How do I do this? Maybe if you take like magic mushrooms or DMT, you're going to realize the closeness that you have. Or maybe you won't. Anyways, this is what I want to bring to your attention. Because you need to go look up this word, monad and oversoul. Because this is what this is referring to. The monad and you having this experience of being in a separate body. So what happens when we move from, this is the 3D scenario of Earth as it is now. But when we go to 5D Earth, what happens? Well, I think you're fully conscious. Even if you go into separate bodies, you're fully conscious of this all the time. That everybody around you is you. Because in 5D, it's harmony and understanding and love. Because you love other people, but other people you realize are really you. You really, really get it. You really, really understand it so much that there is never going to be any fighting and warring in 5D Earth. So you need to get this bit, the monad, and the idea that all the people that you're fighting with are you. So stop being evil. You know, you people. Really got to come to understand that Bobby Burroughs is attacked by not just you, but lots and lots of people because of the electronic harassment on me. Because when you're an awake person and you come to a better, better understanding of this, it's beyond perplexing. It, it, it's exasperating. Really? Because what I really want to do is wake up here me, I want to be here, and I want to see you, and I, whatever you are, you're cancer. So when I'm here, what I want to do is I want to cut you out and kick you out of this whole thing. So you can be this fucking devil all the time, and you can drop dead, and that's the end of you, because you're cancer up here, fuckface. You are a fuckface, and this is the fuckface asleep in the monad. So if I can get here, if any of these other people wake up, what I want you to do is take me and excise him as cancer. That's it. That's your story.